Hi, and welcome to The Winning Hand. I'm Howard Dreback, and thank you for betting on yourself. As a rule, I don't use notes, and I don't read from notes. It's stories that I reminisce in my mind, and experiences that I go through on a day-to-day basis, and still do even when I'm not on the air. But I just made a few notes the last night about today's show to talk about the world of gambling. And of course, when you use the word gambling, what is the what is the attraction of gambling? And the word is money, obviously, right? It's money. It's the almighty dollar. And some notes, mental notes that you might want to take when we're talking about this is that Never borrow money to gamble. Use money that you have readily available and that money you can use gambling knowing that you will lose it. Assume whatever money you do use to gamble will end up by the wayside and that dream of yours hitting the big jackpot will be just that. It'll be a dream. You set yourself a budget, if you are going to go to the casino, and stick to it. You stay away from the ATM machines. You stay away from borrowing money from people that you are at the casino with saying you lost it. I can just borrow a few more dollars and I'll pay you when I get back. No, no. You stay away from your credit cards. You stay away from your PLC, your personal line of credit, should you be lucky enough to have one. And you limit the playing time. If you are in fact true to yourself and you mention that you're going out for an evening to the casino, an hour or two playing and an hour or two eating dinner, don't play for four hours then. Remember, at a casino, they do have restaurants. There are TVs. If you're going out of town to gamble, i.e. Atlantic City or Vegas. Remember, hotels have bedrooms, sleep, shower, see a show. The casino floor is open 24 hours a day. Nobody can do it. Take a break. Relax. Limit your playing time, as I said before. When you go to a casino... You have to keep in mind that casinos have been built by engineers, by psychiatrists, psychologists, architects. We've all heard over the years that in a casino, they pump extra oxygen inside the room to make you feel more alive. The air conditioning is usually on cooler than normal to keep you awake. There are no windows. There are no clocks. You shouldn't know what time of day it is. You shouldn't know if the weather is nice outside or not. They have you in their world. They want to keep you in their world. There is no question that when it comes to gambling, you will lose. If you can digest that comment, If you can really sincerely understand that statement that when you gamble, you will never win and you will always lose, you might not gamble as often. Now, yes, from time to time, people go, they make a few dollars, but invariably, Not only do they give back their winnings, but they give back more. The old story. How did you do at the casino last night? I was up $400. Finish the story. Well, we stayed a little bit longer. Finish the story. I was up for... Get to the end of the story. It ends up that at one point they were up $400 but they ended up giving back 200 of their own money, which means a $600 swing. It only matters what you walked into the casino with and what you walked out of the casino with. That's all that matters.
The rest is utter, utter nonsense. It doesn't matter if you were up and then you were down or you were down or then you were up. That's all that matters. Get through your mind that there is no such thing as a winner at a casino. The winners are the owners of the casino, the operators of the casino, in which case here in Canada, it's the government. And that's it. Please, I urge you, keep in mind that comment. There are no winners that walk out of the casino. Mathematically and logically speaking, the more often you go, the worse the odds are in your favor and the worse odds you will have and the more you will lose. Okay? We'll see you next week. Thank you.